The death toll is climbing around the world as we struggle to get a handle on the deadly coronavirus. More than 360 people have died as a result of the disease and another 17,000 have been infected. We all know this is serious business, but one evangelical pastor says this is God's wrath upon us. He claims the coronavirus is God's death angel seeking justice for so-called transgendering little children and putting filth on TVs and movies. The those words came from Pastor Rick Wiles. He told True News this. And God is about to purge a lot of sin off this planet. Plagues are one of the last steps of judgment. Yes. The very last step is war. <clears throat> That's the last step. But plagues and pestilence, those are one of the steps of judgment. Now, joining us to talk about this is physician Dr. Huma Kauser, Dr. Ruth Allen Allison, who has a Ph.D. and master's in religion and is also a journalist. Ashton P. Woods, who is an activist and who is not ashamed to say he's an atheist as well. And Bishop Dr. Kendall Baker of Baker Ministries. So let's begin with you first before we sure. get into the foolishness. As a physician, when you hear someone sending out a message like this on such a serious issue, your thoughts? I mean, it's, it's pretty tragic because there is no scientific study or evidence-based research to support his claim. So it's very important for physicians and people to go out there and tell you that coronavirus is a serious business. You know, World Health Organization has already declared it to be a global uh, health emergency. It is a public health crisis in the in the U.S. So as a global community, we all have to come together collectively, you know, and uh, implement effective measures to stop the spread of this deadly virus. And something like this definitely is not what we want to do. Because he has followers, people who will believe what he's saying, right? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and I mean, you have to make sure you take the appropriate measures so that you do not spread the disease. Ashton, when you hear this man speak, your thoughts on that? typical of a descendant of uh, colonizers who stole land and bought disease to this continent. That's what I think about that. He is basically instituting xenophobia, racism, transphobia, anti-LGBT sentiments. And as a gay black person, I think about how that translates to people who are looking around the country. And I'm also thinking about the amount of black trans women and trans women in general of color who have been murdered in senseless crimes mm -hmm. because of trans panic and all of these other things. And this rhetoric is dangerous. It is unhelpful. And I feel like he needs to shut up. Doctor, your thoughts on this. Is this a dangerous message that he's sending to the country, the world? Well, he's talking about which, wh what God is he talking about? I serve a, a Christian. I'm, I'm a follower of Christ. And he is making things very difficult for people who are uh, followers of Christ. And I, I want to say this. And when you say difficult, how is he making it well, difficult? Well, I mean, because I am, I am, uh, I, I don't want to say the word tired. I'm going to say the word tired, but I'm tired of people hijacking Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. This guy does not represent Jesus Christ. The gospel is good news. It's not about judgment. It's all about spreading the love of God. And by the way, I read the Bible, I think I, I told you, I read it about 33 times. There's nothing in there about uh, judgment happening like this. Actually, the Bible says judgment begins with the house of God. Mm -hmm. So if he's claiming to be a person who represents God, he really needs to be careful. Mm -hmm. Bishop, your thoughts on this? Yes, I, I feel what uh, Pastor Wiles is missing is uh, a balanced word. As ministers, we have to make sure we're balanced. What, what Christ preaches is love, mercy, and grace. And uh, the Word tells us in the book of Romans that, uh, that He would not, that any of us would die, any of us would perish, but all of us would come to repentance. And so in China alone, you have 54 million Christians uh, in their uh, 1.3 billion population. And He called China a godless country because yeah. of the communism. And that's yeah. what's xenophobic yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. It's racism, plain and simple. People have a God complex and they believe that they are, have dominion over people. And this translates into trying to boss women's bodies. It translates into policy. It turns into state law. We have to be careful about this. Mm -hmm. well, and who is he? He's using the same Bible that was used uh, against our people to say, <coughs> slaves obey your masters, slaves mm -hmm. obey your masters. That's mm -hmm. the only thing that they were allowed to read and to hear. And what happened? The perpetuation of slavery. This is dangerous, this is wrong, and it actually reflects, uh, a, I will say this word, a spirit 
that is in our country in which people think they can judge each other. Mm -hmm. And we have not been called to judge. And I go back to his word. We have to rightfully divide his word. His word is of grace. His word is of love. His word is of must mercy. Without love, you're nothing but a sounding board. You're just wasting your time. You're just talking into the air. His word is of grace, amazing grace. How sweet the sound mm -hmm. that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. So we, we have to see what the motive is of, of these pastors that are preaching this way. Is he trying to make a name for himself? Is he trying to cause division? Jesus preaches love. Without love, you have nothing. Now, Dr. Allison, when we have people following him, there will be people who will believe everything he says. And how dangerous is that, that they're believing it? Well, it's very dangerous because a lot of hate has been unleashed in the world. And the most dangerous sin is pride. And woe be unto someone who thinks that they can judge what somebody else is doing. The Bible says, I've read it, and it says that it is the goodness of God that leads to repentance. It's not judgment, it's not fear, it's not throwing rocks at people. This is wrong and we need to call it out. And, and, uh, but, but I'm glad he's saying something because there's this great cloud of uh, quiet in other ranks about other things that are going on in the country. Mm -hmm. When, as you know, when Mr. Obama was president, you couldn't get conservatives uh, who claim to represent God, you couldn't get them to be quiet. They blamed him for everything. Now there's a hush over the land. What's that about? Now, Dr. Kaiser, before we go, how concerned should we be here in America and what's the status now in the last 40 seconds we have? So, you know, CDC says that if you have fever, cough, or shortness of breath, and you've come from China in the last two weeks, you need to call your primary care physician. Now, it's important to note, you know, we have to call a primary care physician and not just go there because the disease is highly infectious. As you just said, there are 17,000 cases and it's rising every second. You know, there have been 360 deaths and 11 confirmed cases in the U.S. itself. So we have to be careful. We have to take basic precautions, you know, and make sure that if you have come from China, you have these symptoms, make sure to call your PCP, your primary care physician as soon as possible. All right. Thank you all for joining us.